What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here to review the new mint lasso. I've got one in nocturnal with the cool giddy up stamp and I've got one pearly regular eternal one with the dino hill stamp and I saw some creative creators out there doing some sweet die jobs on the eternal lassos and I knew what I had to do. We are out here as Ted Lasso and we're gonna throw the lasso. First up, we're here at our 150 foot station to the scout basket we have down there. I'm just gonna start real easy, see the stability differences. So right now we have a left to right tailwind. The weights on these, We've got a 174 glow and a 175 eternal. Up first, the glow one. Little turn, a little late stability. Now for the eternal. Slightly more stable it would seem. So slightly over through the basket with those little touchy backhand shots. Now I'm gonna throw a forehand from this station just to see. I've got kind of a wonky power forehand. I like more like touch scrambly forehands a lot more. So if that's you, this will be helpful. And to address the elephant in the room, yes, I already owned this. This was my Halloween costume this year, actually. I did not go purchase it just for this video. Oh, I probably would have. Forehand with the glow first. A little low, but pretty much laser straight. Maybe on a touch of Annie. Try and give this one a little more height. Kind of just held the Annie all the way to the ground. And now we are at our 200 foot station. Let's go with the glow first. Give it some more, a little more power. Maybe even try and get a little turn. See the whole shape of the flight. Uh, Cause from 100 feet, it's just a little toss. But we're gonna throw it now. I just pushed straight on Heiser. Try and put a little more on the internal one here. I'll try and zoom on that and post, but it just barely stood up and hummed right on by the basket. I'm gonna try and get a forehand there. We'll see. Got the glow coming out first. Yeah, with my forehand, I really gotta like come over the top of it. And that pretty much held Annie the whole way pushing straight. So it was still fighting the angle I put on it. We'll try the eternal. That one definitely had some off-axis torque and too much ante, so got less stable turn into a forehand roller. Now we're throwing back the other way. I'm gonna try and hit that 200 foot station, which my bag happens to be sitting at down there. Cause now it's almost directly a headwind. So these discs have been a little more stable looking. Um, so we'll see how they fly into a headwind. Do the glow up first. So yeah, that one actually popped up to flat and kind of drifted right before starting to fight back to the ground. Let's do the eternal. Try and put a little more hyzer on this one. See, so yeah, still has a good amount of low speed stability to fight out, but 
at the rip, I mean, it's, it's still just a putter, so it's gonna pop up and drift a little bit. It's not quite as stable as, say, like a new zone or something, but uh, usable and shapeable. And we are at our James Conrad station, that 250-ish foot distance. I'm gonna try and really shape these things down this fairway. There's not a lot of room to sky it out. Ooh, this breeze is messing with my hair. Anyways, it's not a lot of room to sky it out, so to speak, but uh, we can give it some power. Did not like that. Thing just flew though. Try and put some ante on this one. I did like that. All right, we're out here now at our 300 foot station. Pretty unrealistic shot for me for a low speed disc like this. But we're gonna give it a rip. Also, shout out to the stamps on these. Giddy up, thing's just so cool. I do really love the stock stamp, but I decided to bag the giddy up. Missed my line. Eternal. That is the Mint Lasso in Nocturnal and Eternal. I have not had a chance to try the Soft Flex Eternals. By the time this video drops, they'll have been out for about a week. As of this recording, they dropped last night. So don't have it yet. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Not quite as beefy as like a zone, but you can see a lot more distance. I'd say it's like a good medium over stability. Ring putter, there's kind of a look at the profile. Yeah, check out the community that they have. I just participated in my third. Um, Mintmas Secret Santa Disc Exchange it was awesome as always. If you enjoyed this video and these antics, please like and subscribe, share, comment below your favorite Ted Lasso episode or quote, and we'll see you out there.